city and I really thought I can pursue it because like uh, professional jiu-jitsu athlete sounds a whole lot better than a nine to five job. He is a warrior. He's a mentor. He's an IBJJF world champion. And some call him a clown. Yeah, you heard that right. Craig Jones is one of the top grapplers in the world. And yet, he's also known to be quite intimidating. He picks on everyone, especially those he loves. But do not get on his bad side. Get ready to dive into the story behind the man who wears many hats, the masterful grappler, the passionate coach, and the joker. We finally received Gordon Ryan's Valentine's Day flowers. Very caring gesture towards Nicky Rudd. Unfortunately, Nicky Rudd's not here to receive him. He's away covering Gordon Ryan. I'm here today to make a formal apology for making light of Gordon Ryan's stomach condition. The GBAC Foundation is dedicated to the research of curing victims of gastroparesis. I've just donated $1,000 to the GBAC Foundation. Chapter 1. Childhood and Practicing Grappling Craig Jones was born in Adelaide, South Australia on the 17th of July, 1991. In 2006, he began to learn Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu at his cousin's academy and achieved a purple belt. Once he got his purple belt, Craig continued his journey at Maromba Academy, which was later renamed Absolute MMA. He devoted countless hours of hard work and dedication to hone in on his technique there. I was really broke, so I would do, <clears throat> I was only sleeping four hours a night. I would teach like the morning class, I would train at the lunch class, train at the night class. Between those sessions, I would do private lessons all day, and I would try and lift weights as well. Craig was training under Lachlan Giles. His hard work paid off in 2014 when he won a gold medal at the NAGA World Championship and a gold medal at the AFBJJ Pan Pacific Championship, an annual tournament held in Melbourne. Craig further proved his skill when he qualified for the 2015 ADCC World Championships, a biannual submission grappling tournament often called the Olympics of Grappling. Chapter 2 – ADCC World Championship and IBJJF World Nogi Championship In 2017, Craig made a remarkable achievement when he qualified for the ADCC World Championship. He was up against five-time black belt world champion Leandro Lowe on day one, who was widely seen as the favorite to win the match. However, Craig managed to shock everyone and secured an upset victory by submitting Leandro Lowe. This same day, he followed with another win against Murillo Santana, securing another surprise win. He also defeated Chael Sonnen before losing to Keenan Cornelius in the semifinals and then Alexander Ribeiro in the third place match. Finally, the Craig Jones name was getting popular. In 2019, Craig Jones was triumphant in winning the silver medal at the ADCC Submission Fighting Championship. In 2022, Craig Jones further displayed his prowess in grappling by winning silver at ADCC after moving up a division to the minus 99 kilogram weight category. During the semifinals, he beat three-time world champion Nicholas Marigali. Face Kynan Duarte. So B team two for two in semifinals matches. They will send a representative. A rematch between Craig and Marigal was scheduled to take place on February 25th, 2023, at Who's Number One, but Craig Jones had to withdraw, and hence, the fight was postponed. Chapter 3 The DDS Division In the early 2000s, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu gained recognition and attention from martial arts enthusiasts due to John Danaher's efforts in training prominent athletes such as Gary Tonin, Eddie Cummins, Gordon Ryan, and Craig Jones, collectively known as the Danaher Death Squad. Although after experiencing some internal disputes, the squad disbanded, John Danaher wanted the team to stay together at least until the 2022 ADCC World Championships, but unfortunately, that didn't come to fruition. He declined to call out any of the members by name, 
but stated that Craig Jones and his companions had taken over the gym they were intending to occupy. But I believe that the team would be weakened by breaking apart. But that was rejected and uh, the team split. They moved to Austin. Uh, we'd made prior arrangements to go to uh, a local gym and uh, they took that gym and uh, we were left uh, with no gym and uh, more or less homeless in, uh, in Austin. Danaher suggested that some participants from his squad had departed because they were not ready to put in the effort he expected. Without naming Craig Jones explicitly, he hints at someone being incredibly good, yet not quite reaching the levels of excellence, a scenario which appears to be linked to Craig's habit of self-depreciation and his second-place-in-everything moniker. Chapter 4 B-Team Jiu-Jitsu and the 2022 ADCC World Championships The dissolution of Dan Her Death Squad resulted in two teams forming, New Wave Jiu-Jitsu and B-Team Jiu-Jitsu. Nikki Ryan, Ethan Krillinston, Craig Jones, and Nikki Rod formed B-Team Jiu-Jitsu and opened their school in Austin, Texas. When it opened its doors in late 2021, B-Team received an overwhelming response from many of the top grapplers around the world who flocked to train with them. They also competed in the ADCC as B-Team rather than DDS. Craig Jones reviews his second place finish in the World Championship. Udagatami, I believe it was, I couldn't see it from this angle. I was watching live on the mat, I believe. Accepting that he was too overwhelmed with emotion during his semifinal victory against Nicholas Marigali. It was, I was grappling with pure emotion there, so I was too aggressive, really fatigued myself, so I had a few opening attacks. That brought him to fail to secure a win against Kainan Duarte. I remember he hugged me before the match. I was like, I've made a mistake doing minus 99 kilos, but I just, I couldn't move, just couldn't do anything to the guy. Chapter 5, Coaching UFC Superstars. Craig Jones has been working with some of the top-notch fighters in UFC including Alexander Volkanovsky and Israel Adesanya. Recently, he was seen cornering Volkanovsky in his fight against Islam Makachev. Craig is dedicated to helping these world-class fighters hone their grappling skills so they can perform at the highest level in their upcoming fights. His training techniques cover a range of disciplines, from jiu-jitsu to wrestling. Through his expertise, Craig is able to support these fighters not only with physical conditioning, but through advice on technique as well. Craig Jones has undeniably established himself as one of the world's top grapplers. Despite his successes, he has been criticized for his bullying tactics, particularly toward Gordon Ryan and John Danaher. Let us uh, start. Salam alaikum, Kyra Jones Bayev here from Shimken City. I have two questions for you. The first question is, is Bora still your favorite movie? Number two, do you feel unsafe being in the home of Craig Jones? And lastly, a shout out to all the Dagestanis in the audience, 2-0 between the Australians. He may be 2-0 against you guys, but uh, he's 0-3 against the person who matters, and he's lost all three by submission. We were left uh, with no gym. No gym. <laughs> we're going to find ways to win, you know? Despite their differences, it's clear that Craig Jones has the skill and experience to back up his words, making him one of the most feared and respected competitors in the martial arts world.